Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Let's Play Heavy Rain. In our last episode, we wrapped uh, up our investigation with Nom and Jaden at the um, at the scene of the crime, or not the scene of the crime, but where the body of Jeremy Bowles, one of the latest victims of the origami killer, was left. And then we switched over to Ethan uh, seeing his shrink, and then we ended on a happy note with him hanging out with Sean, and I guess trying to reconnect since they've sort of distanced I think they've distanced each other to some degree like Ethan is Ethan seems to be aware that him and his son are drifting apart but you know based on the thoughts that he was having he seemed kind of kind of unmotivated and a little lazy about the whole thing until we started pushing him to start you know playing with him around the the uh, around the playground so hopefully we'll continue to be able to you know continue to reestablish our this, this, the relationship with our son looks like rain's coming I think we better go okay yeah pick up your backpack there kid you know sometimes I remember before I mean, when Jason was still here. Yeah. Sometimes I wish everything could just be the way it was before. Me too, kiddo. Me too, Sean. Me too. Wait, where are we going? You know what, son? I don't know which way we're going. You, fo I'm gonna follow you. <laughs> I don't know which way our car is. Apparently, you're going towards the carousel. That's not our car, son. Hey, son. Dad! Can I have a ride on the carousel? Can I? Sure. Go pick a horse and get on. I'll get a ticket. All right. Let's see. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Didn't mean to intrude. Sorry. Okay. I'll take one. One, please. That's a dollar. That's pretty... That's not too bad. It's cheap enough. Although I'm used to carousels being free, but... Ethan, what's going on? Uh oh, Ethan. Oh, not again. Ethan, you can't keep... Ethan. Seriously. What are you doing? Oh, jeez. Oh, he's about to lose it again. What? Again? Oh, oh my gosh! Oh! Okay. Woo! Just barely... Oh boy. Okay. What? We're back at Carnaby... Carnaby Corner West, or whatever that sign said. But oh, wait a minute. Where's Sean? Sean! Where's Sean? No, I don't believe it. I couldn't have... Whoa. I just can't remember a thing. I... How the hell did I get here? I have no idea. You tell me. What? Well, it's nighttime. That's impossible. Oh, I... Oh, no. Sean! Where's Sean? Sean. Sean, I've gotta find him. Alright, we're looking, and we're looking. The house! He must have gone back to the house. He's not here. Well, well, well at least he was maybe at the carousel, right? Sean! Sean! It's backpack, but he's not here. Okay, hopefully he went he went back to the house. His backpack's still here, but where's Sean? Sean! Alright. Uh. 
I can't even imagine what's going through Ethan's head right now. Like, especially since he feels like it's his fault. It's his fault that he... Oh, jeez. He's here. He's got to be here somewhere. I'll find him. Sean. Where's Sean? Is he in the backyard? No. Sean! Maybe he's up. Maybe he's in his room. Sean! He's not in his room. Where did that come from? Did he have that in his hands the entire time and he's only just now noticing it? Oh gosh. Our son. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have gotten him the strawberry chewies. Maybe he wouldn't have run away then. I'm sorry I gave you the strawberries. I'll get raspberry next time. Oh, great. Just great. Well, now the plot's thickening and sickening. What's going on? Who's who's next? Oh, the police station. Nam and Jaden. Do you think it's going to take long? No, he should be finished soon. All right. God, I'm bored. I hate having nothing to do. Let's get the formalities out of the way so I can get back to some real work. I got to see Captain Perry. Orders are orders. Captain Perry, okay. Gee, I hate internal politics bullshit. I could go for a little Larry time right about now. Oh, that's true. Sure, why not? While we're waiting. Might as well. Let's see what we got on Ari. We got our glove. There we go. We've got tanks, and we've got tanks and a ball. Okay. There we go. <laughs> this is so much fun. <laughs> We're just throwing a ball at a wall. That's great, Ari. That's great. I want to. Can I play the tanks? Can we just play the tanks? All right, all right. You know what? Enough of this. Enough of this. I'm as as scintillating and as invigorating as that was. Oh, perfect timing. I'm off, Charlene. I'll look at the reports later. I'll cancel all appointments for this afternoon. Okay. Oh, Captain. Agent Norman Jaden from the FBI is here. Jaden, of course. We've been expecting you. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Do you mind tagging along? We can talk as we walk. Yeah, of course. I wanted to introduce myself before getting started, but... Uh, perhaps there's a better no, time. No, no, now it's fine. I just have to get to the press conference. Press we conference. Have them every day now. Believe me, it's not always easy finding something to tell them. Fortunately, today we have some news. Have you met Lieutenant Blake yet? Yeah, we yeah. met this morning. Charming. He has his own methods, but he's a good cop. I'm sure you'll get them well together. Do you know how to tie a knot in a necktie? I uh, guess. Yeah. To be frank with you, I could have done Great. without the FBI on this one, but the press are all over us. This origami killer case oh, crept up on us, and it's fast becoming a national concern. There are hundreds of killers in this country, but what do you know? This guy is exotic. He leaves flowers and origami figures. Work that one out. Then the press get onto it, and we suddenly become the center of the universe. I'm here to arrest a serial killer. 
With all due respect, sir, the rest of it, it's none of my business. Sorry, I was paying more attention to the controls no. than I was what you were saying, sir. Of course not. All I'm asking is that you make progress, and fast. The press want a perpetrator, and we're gonna have to serve him up on a silver platter. There, your tie is fine. Not bad. Thank you, sir. It's really hard to tie a tie when it's not on yourself, I Oh, find. go see Charlie and she'll show you to your office. Yeah, check in on the press conference if you're interested. It'll give you an idea of the political climate around here. Thank you, sir. I mean, I can tie a tie. Welcome to the club, Jaden. Thank you, Captain. I can tie a tie pretty easily on, on myself, but on other people, that's... For me, that's tough. I should get Perry's assistant to show me my office. I can't wait to get to work. Yes, I agree. I saw Blake when I arrived. Maybe I should go talk to him. Maybe. I'm dying of thirst. Where's the water cooler when you need one? It's the press conference. Oh, here we go. The body well of Jeremy Bowles was found this morning on a patch of wasteland in the East End at about 6.30 a.m., five days after he was reported missing. An autopsy will be conducted tomorrow to determine the exact cause of death, but going from first indications, it would seem that he drowned. The state in which the body was found suggests the methodology of the origami killer. The investigation should confirm this in the coming days. The police are continuing to work around the clock to find the murderer as quickly as possible. I'll field some questions. Yes. You said the methodology indicated another victim for the origami killer. Can you be more specific? An origami figure was found in the victim's hand and an orchid was placed on his chest. It's gummy. His face was covered with mud, but there were no visible traces of violence. Not origami. Go ahead. Uh, the Zodiac Killer was never identified. Perhaps the origami killer will never be found either. I don't think there's much chance of that. For the moment, the killer may think he's invulnerable, but in the end he'll make a mistake and we'll be there to arrest him. Yes? Did the killer leave any written evidence? Perhaps a ransom note explaining his actions? Or anything like that? No. Uh, he has not made contact in any way, and we have only the murders to help us understand his motives. Yes. What's the question? Some people are saying that the police were slow to take an interest in these murders because the victims lived in poor parts of the city. Uh, what do you say to that? Uh. That's absurd. The police make no distinctions between victims based on their social class. It is true that the origami killer seems to choose his victims from the more impoverished parts of town. The higher crime rate in these areas makes the investigation more difficult. That's so sad. Time for a couple more. Yes. There are rumors that the FBI has sent a profiler to help with the investigation. Is that true? Heck yeah. You seem to be well informed. Yes, we asked the FBI to send us a profiler to help us with this investigation. We were planning to announce this in the next few days, but it seems that won't be necessary. According to certain sources, the town hall has been applying pressure to avoid any mention of a serial killer in order not to have an adverse effect on the mayor's election campaign. Do you have anything to say about that? No, of course. Pure speculation. At no time has the mayor been involved in this investigation. Except to support the efforts of the police force, of course. Thank you for your cooperation. One question, please, sir. One last question. Captain Perry, one more question, please. All right, well, I guess that was the press conference. That was an optional... That was completely optional, but I just thought I would duck in just to check it out. Give us more information. Strange character, Captain Perry. Seems to be more interested in meeting the press than investigating the crime. Yeah. I had a feeling of... This investigation is starting to give me the creeps. Get a hold of yourself, man. I'll have a look around the station. Stretch yeah. my legs for a bit. Yeah, let's take a look. Get the lay of the land, and then we can talk to Charlene about our office. Who knows, we might run into the off our, our office at some point. Hey, guys. Can I order anything? I can sit in the chair. That's not really going to help me much. 
A lot of people complain that there are a lot of pointless chairs around, like, you just, you just sit on them, and, I mean, granted, that's what chairs are supposed to do for you, but, you know, people, I guess, figured, <gasps> coffee! Ooh, I can take coffee! Coffee! Nice. It looks like a tea bag, though. Oh, that's okay. I, I mean, I really see Namen is more of a coffee drinker, but tea is fine. Apparently, it's very cheap tea. Well then, no accounting for taste. Sorry, Norman. I didn't realize it was that that was that horrible an experience for you. All right. So yeah, this is. There's Charlene again, and we've got bathroom in here, so that's the bathroom. I mean, there really isn't much. I think, I think, I think Naman could use a bathroom break. Yeah, might as well. There we go. Let it, let, let no one say, or let no one ask when these characters ever use the facilities, because I, I have to make sure that I take care of them, make sure that they get their needs. Oh, I need to flush. 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 Now I'm in. Flush. There you go. Good boy. All right, we should wash our hands. <laughs> uh. Good, good, good. Because Ethan doesn't wash his hands, apparently. So we should make sure that our fine, handsome... Our fine, handsome FBI agent is... Is he not gonna look at himself? He's just gonna... Okay, I don't know what purpose you're, that, 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 that had, but whatever. That's... Good. All right. Explore the rest of the office. So the captain is over here. Or no, that's not the captain. That's just some people. Some random cops. Captain's in that room. Apparently we can't go in there. And there's... What's back here? A room? Looks like... Oh, an interrogation room. Yep. That's what I thought. Okay, cool. Uh, what's over this way? Oh, it's the other side of the interrogation. Ah, uh, okay. This is where the... Yeah, I, I get it. Yeah. Don't know who that is. I'm wondering if it's another suspect of the origami killer. That's a pet peeve I have about this game is it seems like every single character pronounces origami in a different way. Uh, these are people who are, I guess, incarcerated temporarily. Can't talk to anybody. Oh, hello. Hi. Yeah. What the heck? What you doing, fool? Alright. I think that's... I was gonna say, that guy almost looked like Ethan. And... They're just watching him nap. Okay. Um... Oh, look, there's Blake. Here, we should maybe... Can we talk to him? He's on the phone. I'm ready to start. Maybe we should kick off by talking about the case? Or is he was on the phone? I have some work to finish here. Let's talk about that later, if you don't mind. Okay. Okay. Uh, no problem. Just let me know when you're available. Alright. So I guess we'll just talk to Charlene and see if she can... Yeah, over here. Collection for Larry's promotion present. Huh. I'm really starting to dislike that guy. Gotta watch my back from now on. Nice watch. 
Oh, it's the present we offer to our new lieutenants. Oh. We bought the same model each year for the past 20 years for each promotion. It optimizes everybody's time, and it's the kind of thing that always goes down well. You can contribute to our fund if you like. We're still a few dollars short. Uh, sure, why not? Congratulate Larry on my behalf. I'll oh. be sure to do that, sir. A Lincoln. That was enough to get into... Go into the hotel room, apparently, for Shelby. Anyway, my office. Captain Perry said you could show me to my office? Yes, of course. Follow me. I like your pin, girl. Your brooch. All right, following you. Follow okay. Oh, it was over there. We walked right by it. Nomin, Nomin, there, that way. Follow the nice lady. There you go. Thank you. Uh, this, this is my office. That's where I was told to take you. If you need anything, you know where to find me. Okay. Right. I would probably start sneezing at this point from all the dust, personally. Okay, Here. time to work. Yeah. Um. Gosh, this place. Can we at least get rid of some of the? I don't know, spider webs, at least. Apparently not. <laughs> Jaden's still all muddy. Yeah, let's, oh, look at all that dust. Oh my gosh. I would go in and get some Clorox spray. I'd go to the supermarket right now and get some Clorox spray and just, ugh. I don't know how long it's been since this place was used, but apparently it's been decades. This is probably the very first room that was ever built in this entire building. All right, Norman. Apparently, he's not allergic to dust. Good for him. It's Ari time. Step one. Change the office. Change the office. <laughs> Oh, this is so cool. So cool. Let's, let's check this out first. Ooh! <laughs> Windows desktop themes, eat your heart out. Uh, let's, try, let's try this one. <laughs> Whoa, it looks like we're on Mars. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is impressive, Nomin. Very impressive. What do we have here? Ooh, this is amazing. Simply amaze balls. Like water. Oh yeah, underwater. This is probably my favorite, my favorite of all the backgrounds. Uh, believe it or not, folks, I don't know if you knew, but I actually, um, I actually work with augmented reality glasses in real life. Like that's, I'm a software engineer, and I program software specifically for augmented reality um, eyewear. So it's ridiculous fun. It's like ridiculous. There's always something new every day at work. It's cutting edge technology. I, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's great work. Um, I wish I could share half the things that we do at my company, but I can't really divulge. But it's, uh, we're not quite doing the same things that Ari's here in this game is doing, but it's still pretty darn exciting. It's still pretty fun and, and fun and neat. Um, so I, <laughs> It's really cool playing this game just because I'm like, I actually work on this stuff in real life. I actually do that for my job. So anyway, I think we got I think we got the background that we want. So we'll clear that and move on. So this is the RE interface, which is what we're gonna use to investigate some of the clues. So let's take a look at the clues we got here. Uh 
that's right, the tire tracks. Let's analyze it. Tires, model. Oh, so we've got a Chevrolet Malibu. The car is probably a Chevrolet Malibu 83. Nice. Geoanalysis. How many people? No data for geoanalysis. All right. That's fine. We can move on. How about the or origami figure? Paper, 250 grams. Composition. No prints or specific clues. Hmm. Nothing much to go on. Yeah. Geoanalysis? Huh. Just one origami store in town. Just one? Okay. I didn't realize there was such a thing as origami stores. Apparently there is. Uh, looks like the orchid. Hmm. A common species. That doesn't help much. That's too bad. Geoanalysis? The orchid is a common species. Yeah. It can be found at any flower shop. Great. Alright, well that doesn't help narrow things down at all. Alright, that's all of the clues. So let's clear all. Uh, move on to files. <laughs> this is... This is so awesome how he gets to do that. One of these days, augmented reality technology will be able to do all this stuff. It's very minority report. Uh, open. Origami killer. Eight victims, victims in the last three years. All boys. All boys. Aged between nine and thirteen. That's so young. No signs of violence. The victims disappear from public places in broad daylight. No one notices anything. Bodies are found three to five days later. Drowned. In rainwater. How do you necessarily know it's rainwater? I feel really creeped out. I'm assuming those photos, the faces of the little boys that you were seeing in the origami killer victims, I am assuming those are real photographs. I don't know if... I doubt that they computer generated all of those pictures, but... I don't know, if I was playing this game and I had submitted like a photo of my child and as a child in this game having been killed, like I I would have some problems. <laughs> Alright, well let's analyze this. I'd be creeped out. Look at the rain railroad tracks. They're There's always railroad. a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. Yeah. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. Not really sure what that means, but let's try geoanalysis. That's where all the bodies are found. Or where they the live. Killer has a large comfort zone. He gained confidence rapidly and moved away from his base. Hmm, this won't make the geo profiling any easier. Yeah. I don't know if it me if that means the kids are I don't know if that means if that's where the kids lived or that's where the bodies were found. They didn't really specify. Alright, let's try the orig origami killer. Open the file. Always the same ritual. An origami in the hand, an orchid on the chest. The victims have always been dead for less than six hours when they were found. Which means they remained alive for several days before being drowned. Oh my gosh. Over 3,500 people questioned. Over 100 suspects interrogated. Not a single lead to go on. That's so insane. I can't believe not a single lead. Analyze this. The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. How do you know he's white? He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed, but his work allows him free time. I still don't know where you, how you know he was white. I have no idea. Well, geoanalysis. No data for geoanalysis. All right. Fair enough. Those are all the files, so clear all. Um, environment. Uh. 
Wait, is this the environment? No, this is... Those are the clues. Environment. Oh, no, no. Environment is, is the... Is the desktop, basically. No, clear that. We don't need to change the environment. We went over the clues, we went over the files, we went over the map. So... Um, and actually, this is a good place for us to stop. Thanks, guys, for watching this episode of Let's Play Heavy Rain. Things are starting to really get very fascinating. Hoping that for those of you, especially who haven't played or experienced this game before, have been enjoying it so far. Uh, tune in next time, folks, and until then, love yourselves and love each other.